Can you give us a single valid reason for groups to be lumped together and not granted uh, for this long period of time? I'm realizing you didn't look at all of these, but can you give us a reason where in history you'd seen that kind of lumping together of people, primarily 501c4s, and the kind of delays, this nearly three years delay and still counting? I don't think I could answer that question, sir. But you don't have any experience of seeing it before. I have no experience on it. Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. That was IRS official Carter Hall testifying yesterday to the House Oversight Committee about the political targeting of Tea Party groups and others before the 2012 elections. No one is paying attention to the story, but we will continue to follow it here. We've got Wall Street Journal Brendel fellow Angela Hunt joining me now. Angela, who is Carter Hall? Why do we care about him? Well, Carter Hall, you see, uh, he has been in the IRS for 48 years. And so he knows, uh, he's in Washington, he's a lawyer in Washington, and uh, he knows exactly how to process these tax exempt applications that we're, we've been talking about this whole time. Uh, the issue there, though, is that he was supposed to be helping Elizabeth Hoffaker uh, while she was in Cincinnati. So this is another official in Cincinnati vetting these Tea Party applications. Yes, yes. Uh, he was supposed to be helping her. And so there's that Washington link right there that, uh, that we've reported in Wall Street Journal before. And uh, he's really important because he was the guy who had uh, sent it up to the, the chief counsel. So the chief counsel, uh, William Wilkins, uh, it, was, it got sent up to his office. Um, and he was told that he couldn't do anything about it. He was told to send recommendations to that office, but his recommendations sat on their desk for months. So Carter Hall is sort of the middleman that we've discovered between Cincinnati and this political appointee, the chief counsel. Now, are, are we still kind of following the breadcrumbs here as to where this targeting originated? Do we know yet if it was Cincinnati's idea or if it was Washington's idea? Well, we know it. We know it wasn't Cincinnati's idea. Uh, we know for a fact now that it was. It started in Washington, um, and. Uh, as dealing with Cincinnati, um, at pretty much Carter's hands were tied. There was nothing that he could really do. He's in the middle. He's, he's, he's stuck in the middle here. But the White here. House press secretary said right. it was all Cincinnati. So you're right. saying that the information that we got only a couple of months ago was wrong. Right. Uh, Lois Lerner, essentially, uh, she had blamed Cincinnati entirely. She had said, no, these are rogue agents. Uh, it, this had nothing to do with Washington, and it indeed did. Lois Lerner, so this is the lady who was at the top of the tax-exempt yes. organization. She's sitting in Washington. She says, it's, it's, it's Cincinnati. Jay Carney says, it's Cincinnati. Then we had this testimony yesterday. So it sounds like we still are following these breadcrumbs, but they, they're getting closer and closer to the, right. to the executive branch. Right. Or am I taking that too far? We're not sure yet. Okay. Uh, we, we don't have the answer to that yet. Uh, what we do know is that she knew the entire time uh, that there was a Washington link there. And so it's confusing as to why she had lied about it um, and had tried to put it on Cincinnati. So Lois Lerner, is she going to be called back to testify again? Do we know that yet? We don't know that yet either. Okay. Um, that hasn't been scheduled for the congressional hearings yet. Angela, we've got about 30 seconds left. What is the point of all of this? Uh, is it to, to, to prosecute people? You know, Democrats are saying this is a partisan uh, a, attack mission, basically. How do you see it? Well, we want to know uh, who is responsible and if they're going to be held accountable, if they can be held accountable. And so that, that really is the main measure here. And the next thing that we really have to do to be able to do this um, is Congress, they have to call up Lois Lerner. They have to r learn the real story. Um, and they're also, I mean, the hearings, they've been really insightful. Um, but there's still no answer yet. And so uh, they're also going to have to call up the chief counsel. Um, if they don't call up the chief counsel, then they're not really going to know uh, what happened there behind closed doors. But, okay, so Lois Lerner, the chief counsel, still following the breadcrumbs, but right. uh, but already a shocking case. Right. Wall Street Journal Brindell fellow Angela Hunt, thank Thanks. you so much.